This is the beginning of a video series that I'm making for my son and my daughter. I am a house painter and I want to pass along everything I've learned to my children. So I'm going to make this video series on how to paint a house for the non-painter and I will explain every aspect between picking a color, the proper color, to caulking, to masking, to taping, to doing ceilings, which are my favorite, which are not very hard to do. And as you can see, we're doing some caulking over here. I don't know how long this series will last, but this house will be my canvas and who knows you know it's June 30th 2010 what's it's gonna be like in 30 years now the first lesson is we need to pick a color for the house and as you can see the reason I did this in this dark garage is to show you the colors that we have now when you go into a paint store that's say 50,000 square feet with fluorescent lights and you pick out all your little paint tabs that you like and you want to take home they look a little bit different on your home rather than in a lighted store especially interior colors and that's one thing we'll go over but what I want to show you is what these colors look like in here under normal light compared to outside under bright light to show you how much they change And they change even again when you put them on the house. Now this house here is the one that we're going to paint. It's done in a dark brown semi-gloss brown, which is and it's trimmed in black. I will also go over all the caulking, which this has already been caulked. A lot of older houses have not been caulked. I also go over why it's done like this and problems that have arisen. How much paint to buy, what color to buy. You gotta remember if you go out and get yourself an interior or an exterior designer, they're gonna pick the color that they like. Okay, they don't they don't take into mind that you have to live here 24 hours a day and as the ancient Chinese said they have a thing called Feng Shui I believe and it's harmony and it's their placement of things but color has a harmony too and the harmony is if you like it or you don't like it you can go into a room it's too dark you can see a color you you immediately don't like it you don't know why but you don't like it well, that's out of harmony for yourself. So don't, have, don't, don't ever let someone pick a color for you. Now the first thing you have to do is pick a color. So I would suggest you go down and get one of these books um, with all the colors in them, not just a few swabs, and you hold them up to the house. Usually we have a, a, a color for the body and a color for the trim, which is brown and black. You can either go flat, which is uh, hides most of the problems this house over here is flat or you can go satin which is slightly gloss satin and eggshell are the same or you can go semi-gloss which is not generally used on outside of houses at all or you can go high gloss which is not generally used ever and I'll, I will get into the reasons for that I will also show how to tape how to mask how to seal everything off so that you can get a, a good paint job. Remember Michelangelo and Rembrandt did not start out the genius as they were. First of all, they had to learn a technique. 
then they had to practice and as they practiced that technique they got better and better and better and that's what I'm going to do this is going to be a, a legacy for my children but if you out there in YouTube land want to travel along that'll be great so we go and get the colors do not pick a color underneath fluorescent lights in a shop okay bring your colors outside and put them next to the house under bright light to take a look at them if you feel right about the color then you know it's going to be right now another rule of thumb is that colors come in different degrees different little different tints my rule of thumb is if you find the exact color that you want go two shades lighter because if you put that color on and it's too dark you're gonna feel bad about looking at it or walking into that room and smaller rooms will make dark colors even more dark and no one likes to walk into a cave that's why you don't see really bright colors on houses because there's only I've only seen a very few people like one person that could do it and make it look like art so we, 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 we need to pick our color the next thing we have to do is look at the surface and power wash and power wash will be in the next segment and I'll explain why we power wash and remember to be a, become a good painter it takes practice but in order to be a good painter you have to have the technique and understanding of why we do what we do to become better at it in the segment one.